Hey, what's going on? All right, so in today's video, we got some things to do. We don't really have many things actually, but I do want to show you guys how to make a little homemade like bait well, bait preserver, whatever you want to call it. Like you may go out and catch bait late at night one night and then you're like, what do I do with it? Well, I got a solution for you today because me, I like to go out back and just throw some food to my bass out back and they just love it. They eat it all up in that pond back there. So since I'm tired of buying bait and having to use it all or release the rest of it, it's like, well, now I can just grab a couple out of this bin and just toss it on over. And this thing will probably cost you under like $40. That's how good it is. And a lot of the stuff you guys may or may not have sitting around at home. But first thing first, let me show you what I got just laying around the house. A lot of the stuff I actually already personally have sitting around the house, one being the actual container. I'm actually gonna use a bin. You can use a bucket. Honestly, it'd probably be better to use something round on the inside than it is square just because they're bait fish, they bump their nose and then they just die. What I'm gonna be using is actually this plastic bin right here. I'm going to wash it out, clean it all out, make sure everything's good. Uh, obviously remove the fish trap and the rocks and whatever else I got going on in there. Then I'm also going to use an extra filter that I used to have in a little 10 gallon tank. So we're going to fill that up. I'm also going to steal. There's the pond back there, by the way. Everything's doing good. Oh, fish just... I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but there's a fish blowing up out there. Oh, look at that sun. That's good lighting right there. Yeah, that's right. What we're going to do is we're going to run. Uh, I got to make a couple stops. I got to wash my truck. I got to just go. I'm going to go to one because I haven't washed it in a while. So I think the best thing to do is to probably go through one where I can like spray it myself, you know? So I'm going to spray it down and then I got to go get bait. That's one stop. Uh, I'm going to spray and clean the truck up. And then uh, we're going to come back here and we're going to set this bad baby up. I'm actually going to put it literally right where it sits right there. So it's going to sit right there. It's going to plug into that plug. Everything's just going to sit right there. And I can go out, toss them some shiners or minnows or whatever I end up getting. And uh, maybe a little bit of both. Ooh, never know. And then we'll just go from there. So let's get going on the road and yeah, let's go. All right, boys, we made it to the old car wash here. Look at this. How gross. Ew. We're gonna clean this bad boy up. So here we go. Ready? Right, watch this. This is magic. Whoa, oh my goodness. And now she's clean. Look at that. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the cleanest. I mean, you got a little bit of this here and there. That's just because the brush here just sucked. One wiper. I can't reach the other one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me grab her. Set her down gently. Slam oh, look at that. But I mean, it's not the cleanest of all car washes, but you know, the brush wasn't that sturdy, so it kind of didn't get a whole lot of stuff. But you know, it is what it is. Like you get what you pay for for the I guess. I mean, I paid what eight bucks? Eight dollars for me to run through, spray it all down, scrub it all down, make it all look pretty again. Yeah, good enough. So off to the bait shop and then back home. Alrighty, well, I just left the bait shop. He, uh, it's an older gentleman. He doesn't like filming in there. So I said, all right, brother, no worries. So I only got a dozen just because, uh, I mean, I only throw a couple in there at a time. Why is this air? This air is a tornado. So we're gonna go in there. I don't wanna overload the bin as well. So we gotta go home, clean the bin, add the filter, and get this thing up and running. Alrighty, we made it back home. So what we're gonna do is we got to pull this old fish trap out. We gotta clean all the rocks out, spray it all out, and then grab the filter from inside and put it on there, get the fish put in there. I may or may not feed some for you guys just to see if any bass will show up or something like that. So let's go clean this thing out and then get going. Alrighty, so it is all clean as you guys can see. I slapped the filter on there and then I may or may not use actually Yeah, let's go ahead and use some of these because you know, I mean bait fish like to hide here and there, you know, we'll give them a uh, that rock there and We'll give them a big one here in the middle now they can kind of hide and move around and do whatever bait fish do I don't know, but I would like to put like a little more greenery in there. It's not like colors, but you know, is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to pour this bucket into here. And that way they have the water they came with. Plus this filter was used on another fish tank. So it'll already have bacteria built up on the filter. And then the rest of it is going to be pond water uh, since that's kind of what they'll be going in. So it'll be roughly the same temperature. Uh, so it doesn't shock them and stuff like that when they go in there to get fed. Yeah, so let's go ahead. We're going to pour these guys on in here. Let me turn off this guy here okay set you down there we go this is better oh god look at that 
Any more? No, look at them all in there. Oh, look at them go. Yeah, they're freaking out. So see what I'm saying about the corners? That's the thing I don't like about the corners is that they'll bump their nose on it, but it's all right. We're gonna uh, grab a couple bucket full of uh, pond water and let's fill this thing up. I'm gonna get one more bucket. All right, so the water's a little brown. It's not too bad, but that's just because it's typical muddy pond bottom, stuff like that. So that's the water they're gonna be in. I'm probably gonna top it off to about here with just hose water and then fill up the rest of the uh, the filter there because it needs to be full in order to suck water in. Uh, just because the hose water is a little cooler, maybe it'll balance everything back out. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and add some hose water. Fill this buddy up. Look at that, there we go, nice and full. So now, moment of truth, let's put the, uh, the lid back on this thing here. Oh, hang on, these got wet. What is that noise? Oh my God, why is the filter making that noise? Hang on, I'm gonna give it a second just to see. Maybe it just has to make that noise until it sucks in water, I, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I did something. I think it's trying to suck in water now, okay. I think the noise was because it was sucking dry nothing. And now we just gotta give it a second and it should start pumping water here in a, in a minute. Oh, I understand now. So once it's, it needs more water in it, I figured the stem would be the source of the suckage. Let's try again here, let's plug this in. Aha, uh -huh. how about that? So that right there is a homemade bait tank. Look at that, all the shiners are doing good. They're all, look at them, they're using the rock. That's great. So they're all hiding back in there. Look at that, that's awesome. I'm gonna walk out there. Let's take a look, see if we see any bass going on. I may throw one or two out there just to see what'll happen. But let me grab a little net so I can scoop these guys up and we'll walk out there and toss some out. That's, what I got? I got three, Let's let, we'll let one go. All right, I got two. Let's go put them. All right, we're going. We're going, we're going, we're going. I'm gonna throw these guys out here real quick, see what happens. Here we go, like this. And we're just gonna toss one out there. We'll toss one right there. See if we got a swirl or anything happen. That was sick. Well, nothing happened to eat the fish right away, but you know, they'll get eaten eventually. That's what they're for. They are a bait fish. Hopefully, the more and more we put in there, then the more and more will reproduce, I'm hoping. I need to go to, uh, there's a guy that's pretty local-ish to me. His name's Shiner Sam. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but I plan on going over there, and he has the big Mac Daddy, like Florida raised Shiners. Those are gonna go out there. And then we'll be talking big bass growth, you know what I'm saying? Big Shamu mommies, you know? This is the bait tank for today. Hopefully it uh, does well. I'll throw a little like fish pellets and stuff in here and uh, they should do good. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll, uh, I wanna get a little tilapia for in here just because they would do a little bit better than, uh, than a shiner, but we'll see. So that's about all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this kind of video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you are new and if you've made it this far. Congratulations, this is probably horrible to watch. So thank you guys so, so much and yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, bye.